Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so today is Super Bowl Sunday and we decided to order pizza. So we are eating a large The Works from Papa John's. Everything is basically a supreme pizza, but we do not have olives on it because we don't care for olives. So with the pizza, I made some wings in the air fryer and these are the Foster Farms um, crispy restaurant style wings, sweet chipotle barbecue. I picked these up from Costco. I've had their, this brand's teri, I'm sorry, not teriyaki, Korean style wings, and I really love those, but Howard is more of a barbecue person. So here they are. We just had these for the first time today. We tasted them and they are very good. They taste like barbecue, um, but they have a little kick to them, so they're pretty tasty. And then Howard wanted to try these jalapeno, jalapeno bombers from, um, from there as well. So we haven't tried those yet, but basically it's just pizza dough. And then on the inside there is um, cream cheese and jalapenos. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this manicotti. It is from Aldi, it's spinach and cheese. You get 10, 10 of them and they come in a little plastic tray. Um, I have not been to all these since December, but my mom went and got these for me to try out. So you're supposed to put them in a 13 by nine baking dish. You're supposed to put some pasta sauce on the bottom and then the manicotti on top and then add more of the pasta sauce and then add some mozzarella. I have this in my freezer, so I'm gonna be using that up. And then I plan on serving it with some um, garlic bread and salad. So I just wanted to show you what it looked like before I covered it in all the cheese and sauce. So I will be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, so here is our dinner plate. There's a manicotti. I ended up baking it for about uh, 40 minutes at 400. I think 400 was a bit too high. I think next time I would bake it at 350 degrees. And then with it, I am just having a side Caesar salad. And this is from Walmart. This is my first time trying out this Walmart uh, Caesar salad and it came with black pepper. That's my child in the background. He's in the side chair. And then with it, I am also having just some um, bread. I picked this up from Walmart. You get two of them and they were a dollar. So I just split one for me and Howard, buttered it, and then I lightly toasted it in the oven. So quick and easy dinner tonight. This is what we are having for dinner. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making a pot pie, and this is a pie crust that I'm using. I've already put one pie crust in my pie pan and par baked it and I set it to the side. But I'm just gonna make a simple, I call it chicken Alfredo pot pie because Howard and I aren't crazy about peas and carrots. So a few weeks ago, I made a chicken cordon bleu pot pie with ham in it. So this is kind of similar. Um, so I've got one large potato that I diced up and then I have about two cups of chicken that I'm dropping in. I have about two cups of chopped up frozen broccoli that I let thaw so that um, I wouldn't have a lot of water in my pot pie. Gonna give this a good stir. And gonna add in some garlic powder and some onion powder, not adding any additional salt in because I'm gonna be adding some cheese and I'm going to be adding some Alfredo sauce and I think that's gonna be salty enough for Howard and I. So now I'm just gonna add in my Alfredo. It's just a regular jar of Alfredo sauce. And I'm going to add in some Parmesan cheese that I had in my freezer. Okay, so here's my pie. 
I cut some slits in the top crust so that it can breathe. I'm going to pop it in my oven at 350. I normally cook my pot pies for about 45, 60 minutes um, or until it's golden brown. So I will be back to show you how it turns out. Okay, so here is the pot pie. I let it cook for a little over an hour and I cut out a slice. I actually cut it a little bit too soon. I should have let it cool a little bit more. Here it is on the plate and as you can see, it kind of broke apart a little bit, but it's still going to be delish. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some Asian food from our freezer. So I made this, which we've had before, and we really like it a lot. You just um, add some oil to the skillet and you stir fry it, and it really does taste restaurant quality um, to us. We really like it a lot. So here it is on the plate, and I'm serving it over some jasmine rice, and then um, I had probably like a half a bag of this mandu in my freezer too that I needed to use. So I just pan fried them up as well. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard is making a crock pot soup and Harrison is playing in the background with his toy. So you're gonna hear him, but I'll turn it over to Howard. So growing up, my mother used to make soup maybe once a week. So I am going to try and make some soup in the crock pot. So we have a leftover ham bone from Thanksgiving that was in the freezer, so we took that out. I'm going to be using a packet of uh, soup mix. This is pumpkin flavored. Now, I know when everyone thinks of pumpkin soup, they're going to think of, of uh, Halloween pumpkins. It's different. It's not the same. So I grew up with pumpkin soup, but it's not like uh, Halloween pumpkins. So I'm gonna use some potatoes in there. And uh, I'm gonna add the soup mix. So what does it taste like, this pumpkin soup? So uh, it's hard to describe because I grew up eating pumpkin soup, but it, 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 it's just a regular soup. Is it where, savory or? Yes, it's not sweet. And I don't good. think it doesn't, it doesn't taste like pumpkin. <laughs> it smells really good, actually, when you're pouring it out there. Uh, the seasoned packet. And then to that, I'm going to add a can of butter beans. And butter beans is something that was eaten a lot in Jamaica. I like butter beans. So normally we have butter beans with a lot of different dishes. Um, but I, I, I like it. So I, Put it in everything, including the soup. Now I only had one can, so I'm gonna add a can of uh, pinto beans. And to that, I'm just gonna add a little water. Maybe a cup of water on top of that. And of course, being Jamaican, Scotch bonnet peppers, so I'll just put two in, and that's it. And I'm gonna cook it on low for at least three hours, and I'll check it, and it should be good. Okay, so we'll see you when it's finished. All right, so here is Howard's soup, and it has been cooking for hours, and it smells so good. And we tasted it, and it is really good. And I will say, I'm not a big pumpkin fan. Oh, that's Harrison. He's ready to eat too. Aren't you ready? He's ready. Um, it, it doesn't taste like pumpkin, because I don't like pumpkin, but it doesn't taste like pumpkin. It has a really good flavor, very savory. You can definitely taste the peppers in there. And so here it is in the crock pot, and um, here's our soup in a bowl. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.